Take your time to smell the toxic roses, because Biomutant is a big open world, full of a prolific amount of discoveries and some pretty big choices. Biomutant is an open world RPG where you play as an anthropomorphic mutant mammal determining the outcome of a post-apocalyptic planet Earth. This is an epic already. How it ends is up to you. Morality is a big part of the game, and at the beginning you decide whether you want to align your aura with lightness or darkness. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Can't believe you'd choose that thing over me. But I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. Then you can decide to join a tribe that matches your aura, or not. Maybe even halfway through you decide to leave your tribe. Decisions like this determine the outcome of the game. The game takes place both in the present as an adult and the past as a child. Maybe as a child you decided to help a visitor and your aura lightens. Or instead you decide to reply with a sarcastic joke and that darkens your child aura. This child aura determines how people in the present day remember you as a child. Wishes you'd been better as a kid, but he's glad you finally figured it out. The value of your present day aura determines what psionic powers you can unlock. Your aura also works in conjunction with your charisma, which enables villagers to feel comfortable with you and then give you information that ultimately leads you to side quests. Side quests are nearly endlessly available and when you complete them, you get experience points. When you have enough XP points, you level up, and then when you level up, you're awarded upgrade points that you can use to unlock combat abilities known as your Wang Fu. Or you can use those upgrade points to enhance your vitality, strength, intellect, agility, charisma, or luck. Battles are another way to gain experience points. But battling monsters like world eaters could ultimately go against your tribe's mission and result in a change to your aura. The game leaves it up to you to shape your experience and the growth of your character. You can also mutate your character with psi points and bio points. To gain psi points, you have to find psionic totems throughout the map or interact with captives and civilians. To mutate your biogenetics and increase your resistance to biohazards, you need to defeat biocontaminated enemies or unlock biocontainers throughout the map. The game lets you customize a character. But despite what THQ Nordic showed off since Biomutant's 2017 announcement, there are no gender options. And there's a lot of displays of hypermasculinity, like peeing on flagpoles or posing for strength upgrades. Meanwhile, the female characters I've met are relegated to roles like loving mother or unpopular hag. She is this weird hag who uses poppet magic. Which struck an odd tone with me. I'm upset that I can't play as a female deadeye, and I've yet to battle female warriors or beasts. Biomutant's story can be really moving, but also a little preachy at times. In the game, environmentalism isn't subtle, and the game's storyline says that humans wrecked the world and fled on aircrafts for other planets. The Toxinol Corporation left behind these contaminated zones that, when your character enters them, they're introduced by puking, freezing, asphyxiating, or slowly catching a flame. This area is blazing hot. You'd better have something that'll keep you cool if you're going in. You spend a lot of time hunting down specialized hazmat suits so that you can actually enter those zones. And then you spend a lot of time gathering rubber, wood, e-waste, and other materials so that you can craft new weapons. The side quests support the theme of environmentalism by introducing you to characters that talk to you about the benefits of potable rainwater, using solar panels, or instruct you how to upcycle. But despite the constant lectures about environmentalism or the lack of gender representation in the game, I'm absolutely enjoying Biomutant. According to the developers, you can rush your way through this game in 15 hours by sticking to the main quests and avoiding side quests. But I've put in close to 40 hours, completing numerous side missions and meeting just about every villager in town. And the game says that I'm only 3% of the way through, which tells me just how many things there are to do in this game. The map is huge and it really invites you to explore. If you're the kind of player who's curious, then Biomutant is going to reward you with plenty to do.